very good evening to you folks. Welcome. Welcome to the Anthem Twitch channel. We're live for the open demo for Anthem this weekend. Have you missed it? I missed it. <laughs> Hope you guys got to play some of the VIP demo last weekend. If you didn't, hopefully you were watching some of your favourite content creators out there on the internet. Uh, we're going to be back. We're going to be back for a couple of hours this evening to play and talk about the Anthem demo. Because if you've not played it, maybe you want to take a look at it. Uh, we can reflect here on what we played last week and have a chat to you about all of that. Um, so stick around here on the channel um, because we've got lots to cover off tonight. But very good evening to you. My name's Freeman, Community Manager for All Things Happening with VA here in the UK, where indeed we are live from. So welcome to you. Joining me this evening, my fellow co-host, Sean. Good evening. Good evening. How, How are, are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good. I'm excited to play more I'm Anthem. So am I. I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to doing the stream today. Yeah. Um, but also, we have uh, two special guests today, um, which are... Hi, uh, I'm George. Uh, I'm uh, one of the owners of Anthem Universe. Yeah. Hmm. And you've enjoyed this last... What's it been now since you first got stuck into this game? Uh, 18 months. 18, wow. 18 months 18 as a journey. Months. And we know, again, there's many of you yeah, in the Twitch yeah. chat here equally as have been on those, that same long journey. But yeah, it's yeah. Ne we're nearly there. Yeah. We've nearly done it. We are on the, we're on the <laughs> literally the cliff edge. Yeah, the home stretch. And I am literally waiting to dive off in my Colossus. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Well, we're happy to have you here, George. No, I really appreciate the invite. Thank right. you. And completing the party, we have Kyle. Yep. Hi, Kyle. Hello, I'm Kyle. You might know me from uh, past shows of Battlefield Weekly. I am Freeman's um, partner in crime. So <laughs> you're, my, you're, my, you're my half. Yeah, I'm, I'm his other half. So I'm the community <laughs> manager in the UK as well. So I do things like FIFA and other sports titles and The Sims. Mm. But you Woo! get to not kick and a, no kicking football this week. Yeah, now yeah. you get to. I'm going to be playing Anthem all weekend. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> um, yeah, very good evening to you. Um, sign up in the Twitch chat. Say hello, we'd love mm. to hear from you. Yeah. Um, top of the, the show, we just want to make sure that we call out to you. Uh, we are aware, of course, there are some present issues with the Xbox service. We know that that's broadly across all things Xbox. Yeah. It's not necessarily related to Anthem. Um, of course, though, we will help keep you updated over on our Twitter channel, so make sure you're following both at Anthem Game and at EA Help, because they mm. will, of course, help amplify that messaging that's coming out of Xbox. We know, of course, the team at Xbox want to get you in and playing this weekend, um, but otherwise, Hopefully, all things go well today. Uh, for those of you who were paying attention to our blogs, we did publish a blog yesterday uh, from Chad with the BioWare Live Service team who was able to talk about what we've done this week to address some of those issues we've seen. Um, so hopefully a lot more of you get to play. But of course, you can play this weekend. Mm. There's no barrier. It's open to everyone. Free so just good. download and play. It's open from Friday, today, right now, until Sunday. So please go ahead and get the game. Yeah. Uh, give it a taste, and if you like it, it's out on the 22nd of February, so I don't see why you shouldn't play it. And, of course, we're going to be streaming for the next couple of hours, so, you know, hang out, ask a few questions. We're more than willing to uh, help as yes. much as we can. Yeah, tell us what you like, tell us what you don't like. Right now, we're actually in the game. Mm. We are playing. Um, we've got two different instances running. Right now, I'm playing as the ranger, mm. my ranger, I will add, who is yeah. very nice lovely colour coloured. Yeah. It did yeah, turn into a bit of a fashion. <laughs> it did turn into a bit of a fashion parade last week, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. In terms of everyone showing off their really cool javelins. But I'm playing as the Ranger. We have George, who is indeed as well playing as Colossus. Oh yeah. Thick boy. I love my thick boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Favourite javelins. Tell us tell us what it is you actually enjoy. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be playing through the content. Right now we are in free play. Because it's a nice place to start. It's a nice place, you know, just to remind yourself of the controls. Get used to everything. Have a big wee bit of a fly around. Mm. Right, so let's do that then. Um, right, so at free play, you can also start back at the Fort Tarsus. Mm. And you get to do the coolest thing in the world, which is just jumping off. For Did you just kill rabbits? Nice. <laughs> Finally. I was worried I, I was going to be the I only one on one this right stream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've, 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 I've found them right I, no, stop <laughs> killing the grabbits. No uh, more grabbit killing, everyone. Two million grabbits killed last week. Yeah. I'm not a fan. I, I love that tweet. Yeah. <laughs> I want that doubled. Yeah. That tripled. No. Yeah. Today. What did the grabbits do wrong you to give you? give people a number and they will want yeah. to get it. <laughs> right, see, George, you're playing then as the Colossus. And this is your favourite, right? This is, yeah, this I, is it. Tell since, us what you like about since it. Since some very early builds, the Colossus has always been my favourite. It's such a good grabbit killer. It really is. <laughs> oh, I'm, not <laughs> I'm not having this chat. Uh, it's, it's generally actually it suits my play style, and I think that's probably what we, each javelin has such a unique and 
it's such a unique play style to themselves. There is such a contrasting difference between how they play. And for me, in life, I generally walk around a bit tanky. So <laughs> uh, this is why it suits me great. Mm. Uh, right, for folks who haven't encountered the Colossus though, yeah. talk us through its abilities. What does the Colossus do? Uh, well, it does a ground yeah, pound, which is incredibly which is effective. Effective in yeah. clearing out vermin from your <laughs> kitchen. Emphasis vermin. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's also got so you, uh, oh, I wish I was in the forward actually. So obviously you've got a mortar, mm. which is uh, over your left shoulder, and you have the ability to hold down the left if you're on controller, uh, your left shoulder button, and you can blow things up. Blow things mm. up literally. Uh, on your other side, you have a, you have it's actually an array of different types. So you can have things like a railgun, which I'm holding down right now, mm. or you can have like a venom spitter. Um, and I think once you go up through the different tiers, you actually get more and more. Whoa, hello! <laughs> oh, take that! No. Well done. The light assassin seventy four. <laughs> glue, st <laughs> glow stick me. Do <laughs> 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 you want to follow him? Uh, my okay. favourite, though, of all the abilities that Colossus has is the shield. The shield is mm. a lot of fun. Mm. Uh, and it, it, it actually provides you quite a lot of durability. Especially when you start doing um, the stronghold where... What's, the, what's, it, what's it called? It's the um, type of... T uh, I can't think of the name now. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the tip of your tongue. It's on the tip of my tongue. Um, the uh, the Spider Cave Boy. Mm. Spider Cave Boy. <laughs> yeah. the the tyrant yeah. mine. We know you guys. You, you're yeah. always going to name things for yourself. Uh, yeah, I use a different name. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> um, the Tyrant Mine is yeah, it's just brilliant because mm. you're running through, you're clearing, clearing out the way for the rest of the team, um, and just shield bashing as well is brilliant. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the Colossus, I think, is probably the most diverse in terms of its abilities. Um, obviously not elemental as much as the storm, but in terms of its actual physical attacks, mm. um, yeah, it's great. Yeah. Now we're just watching you play <laughs> silently. Oh, my actual yeah. stream. But um, I think I think the thing I like about the Colossus is the fact that you can use it as a tank, so everyone else can focus on doing the damage, and you can just make sure that everyone's kind of safe. I think that's quite nice. Um, especially when you start comboing it with other um, other javelins as well. Um, I personally don't think I'd play as Colossus. I think it's too much responsibility. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm, I'm more, you know, sort of damage dealer, but also, you know, I'd like noticing things and be like, oh, watch out for that. But I think past that, my responsibility tends to just lie on doing damage, getting out there. Yeah, and having fun, really. Yeah, I it's, think, inter it's yeah. interesting. So if you pair it out with the Ranger, so we're in it especially over the last weekend, uh, we paired it out with the Ranger quite a lot. So the Ranger mm. would do a lot of prime, and then I'd come in with my ground pound and combo everyone out of the way. Yes. Yeah. So and so that's the talk, most Let's talk about the Ranger thing. thing. <laughs> because the, the Ranger is, the, naturally, it's going to be the javelin that if you're just jumping into the open demo, that's going to be what you're starting with. Everyone's mm. going to jump in at level 10. You're going to start with the Ranger suit, which is the one I've got here. So let's take a look at that. Now, I've naturally, you know, I've painted mine up a bit. Looks good. It looks real good. It looks good. Yeah. Not bad. I mean, <laughs> I, I, don't, I, I, I don't know if Ooh. I'm using too many colours here, but I, I like it anyway. But yes, Ranger is where you start. Um, and it, you know, many folks, I think, will find that it, when you first start into a javelin, that you might find it, with a Ranger particularly, perhaps a bit basic, because again, you've got some of the abilities like the rocket launcher, the grenade, mm. the assault mm. rifle. It's naturally things that a lot of players who play a lot of action games will get used to quite yeah. easily. Um, but as the, you, you grow with the, the Ranger suit, it definitely becomes something that is pretty essential to supporting folks yeah. in the actual thing. Um, so let's take a look at some more of the gameplay here. So right now, again, I'm in free play. Oh, can you please do your finisher on those? I could, yeah. So let's just go straight into that. Here's my ultimate ability. Absolutely love this. Ooh. Bam! And again, that's just yeah. the absolute basic form of it. I've mm. loved watching people playing this where they're firing off the uh, the ability whilst actually mid-flight. Yeah. Uh, just You can nail it pretty oh, yeah. cool there. Mm. Um, but yeah, we're playing in free play, which is again an option that's available for, uh, for folks uh, during the open demo and of course in the main game. There are lots of different activities that you can encounter. So right now here, I'm trying to destroy scar stockpiles, which are these things here. So I just need to get in at them and blow the bloody things up. Um, oh, you're on fire. I am on fire. <laughs> like, there's, there's a lot of enemies here. Like, my team has abandoned oh. me. And I, 
don't want to be the first deaf on the stream. <laughs> don't let it be me. <laughs> That's why I'm going off to grab it. Yeah, yeah safe they don't option. Oh, I see. Should they don't <laughs> fight back, yeah? Um, but yeah, that's again, we took a look at the ultimate ability there. Mm. Um, again, there's grenades. Now, I think I've got the fire grenade equipped, or is that, no, it's the standard one there. Yeah, standard frag. Um, and then, of course, you've got the rocket launcher for you. Could the you homing missile. Uh, could you try and use your melee on one of them? I think the melee looks really good. There we go, let's give this a go. Bam. The melee is really cool. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And again, it's always most fun, and I know it's the, the classic Deadpool meme of doing the superhero drop, but. Hmm. Yeah. Always cool. cool. Always cool. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it, it can start out as a pretty basic suit, but again, you have abilities like uh, this one here, which you get from pressing in both bumpers um, if you're playing on controls, um, or pressing both your ability buttons otherwise if you're playing on PC. Let's try not to Is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? No, 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 I'm not doing it. <laughs> um, that but yeah, shield is a lifesaver. That shield is yeah. an absolute lifesaver, particularly, again, if you want to try and take on things like Tyrant Mind on hard difficulty, which yeah. I had so much fun trying to work my way through when I was playing that in the week. Um, but you can switch that out again for a different ability, which boosts damage, which yeah. I also found to be, again, a really nice, aggressive way to actually play. Mm. Yeah, I tend to go with the damage stuff. I think I've established that. <laughs> 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 you know, helping people. Yeah. Right, well, let's see if I can complete this, this here then, because yeah. I'm, I'm making use then of my shotgun. So yeah, let's let's shotgun talk about weapons then. Shotgun is effective for getting rid of things that you need to in a hurry, I believe. I mean, I just use this broadly anyway. Just, I just found that this was fantastic for just clearing out enemies. It does require playing a lot more aggressively because, again, yeah. you don't have any range, but if you can get up close, it does the trick. What's your preferred weapon? Uh, mine would be the light machine gun. Okay, so one of the, this is then one of the more exclusive weapons <coughs> specifically to... To the Colossus. To the yeah. Colossus, yeah. Yeah, they can only have heavy, heavy goods. Kyle? Oh, I'm not too sure yet. I'm hoping to find out today what my favourite one will be, actually. Yeah. Uh, I'm currently looking through the different javelins. Mm. I think you don't know where. You, you have mm. nailed that. I just want to throw that out there. It looks really good. Oh, that does look good. Yeah. Oh, there he is. I haven't oh. done anything to it. I'm not going to oh. lie. Oh, that's, okay. how we, that's how we start. <laughs> so, uh, thank you very much. Yeah, you've um, that looks great. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell him with that. Pure talent, that. Thank you very much. Right, so let's talk then about yeah, that's the storm, which is what Kyle's looking at right now, yeah? Yep. So Throwing storm is close second for me in terms of favorability. I think one, it looks cool. It's got mm. a cape, and I know that yeah, you, know, every, you, everyone you say likes superheroes capes. shouldn't wear capes, but I'm, I'm all about it. Isn't the phrase <laughs> all superheroes have capes? <laughs> <laughs> but isn't capes <laughs> impractical? You don't want them getting caught yeah. in... in, in, in on branches and stuff when you're having a little fly around. Fighting a hurricane. I think that's from The Incredibles, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Incredibles. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, you're looking through the different weapon types right there. Yep, right You've got right. a couple on the, the account to play with. So assault rifle, very popular for folks. Yeah. Assault rifle. Yes, yeah, it's the standard weapon, but it's still effective. I, I think a lot of people shy away from using the assault rifles because it's the base weapon. But I do feel as if it's always it's always good to have at least one person on yeah. your team using it. I'll, I'll be that person. Don't okay. Worry. <laughs> I'm mainly gonna. I'm mainly gonna go melee. So, yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> See if that or snipers. I, I've I've always always loved snipers. I I don't, say, I don't think I'm very good at them, but I love using them because um, I I like either getting in real close or being far away. So I think that's probably what I'm going to utilise. And by the looks of things, by the looks of what everyone else is using, I think I'm going to be using the Interceptor, which I look forward to. Because I think that that's the main one that I used oh, during the VIP demo. And it's just, yeah, it's my favourite. It's my favourite by far. And I think it looks sleek and also the, the animations are, yeah, and perfect. And how's your design game, Kyle? Mm. Have, you, have, you, have you got that sense about you to... to <laughs> I think I think it's one of my downfalls. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're looking at there at what is practically the stock design. If of the I'm going to be da designing something, I think we need a few more hours added onto the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of those people that when when they want to create a character, they create a character. Yeah. And I'll be here yeah. two, two weeks time. So. Yeah. Do you want to risk that? Yeah. That's yes. It. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. take a look. Let's at least <laughs> show off some of those options that people have when it comes to the customization. Yeah, so what then. are we going into? So yeah. right bumper then, and let's get over to. Our visuals. Oh, what have I done? I'm in here, right? Appearances. Paint. paint. So talking through it, George. Go to paint. You're going um, to paint. Paint. 
Or seasickness, one or two. Hands <laughs> or legs. Paint. Which one do you want? Paint. Paint. Right, primary soft. Oh, look at all these colours. <coughs> well, so this is your See, material type. Mm. So this, this is actually a really cool part. Not many games give you so many textures. Ooh. And mm. I, I suppose I'm going to take the opportunity. Well, do you know what led the dev team to actually drive through these, to offering out these type of textures rather than just straight up colours? Because it was really good, because actually the diversity that it allows you to do. Yeah. Like with my Colossus, mm. I just went straight up gold. <laughs> so pimping. Just pinch your colossus. <laughs> yes. um, but uh, it, it, I've not come across a game that allows you that amount of diversity, that amount of textures as well. It's really, it, it is very cool. I think the other thing that I, I found surprising that's actually in the game is you mm. can uh, assign how much rust and how much damage you're. Um, and you're I was surprised by that too because, like, mm. I. Normally, I'm always going to go for the clean shininess, but I actually yeah. found that when I started playing around with it, I went, actually, no, this looks yeah. really quite sinister yeah. when you switch up into the battle damage Weathered. variants. I wish I could unlock that now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, I'd be the coolest javelin in the universe. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I, then genuinely, I found I spent a lot more time playing around this. And I, my, my girlfriend will tell you I'm colour blind as anything when it comes <laughs> to picking out colour schemes, but I really, really enjoyed getting stuck in, in stuck into the forge this weekend. Mm. Might go for the tinfoil look. Yeah. Tinfoil yeah? Yeah, do it. Then my enemies won't be able to see anything because <laughs> everything will be glaring off me. <laughs> Look like I'm going in the oven. <laughs> um, a note for everyone, of course, who was oh. able to play the Anthem VIP demo last weekend, for those folks who are subscribers on the A-Axis and Origin Access. If you come back to the open demo this weekend, you're actually going to have the ability to unlock the reigning javelins. Mm. Um, if you're just playing the open demo, which is fine, um, you will have the ability to play as the ranger from level 10, and when you get to level 12, you'll get the ability to unlock a new javelin. But if you played the VIP demo and you want to come back and check the game out this weekend, you will have the opportunity to unlock the other javelin. So let's take a look at that here, because I've got that mm. screen up. Um, this is where you have that ability to flick between the other javelins. Um, and this is how the game will actually work for you. So when you start out, you're going to start out with the ranger suit. Um, you're going to go through a short tutorial. At the end of that tutorial, you're going to have the ability to then jump in and pick your first suit. Mm. Now, what you pick will be that first suit. So you, mm. whilst you have the javelin ranger to start with, if you then make your first choice be the Colossus, you won't have the Ranger as well. So you will start with the one, but for the purpose of the demo this weekend, <coughs> you'll always have access to the Ranger, and you'll be able to unlock a second one at level 12. Again, if you played the VIP demo last weekend, um, you will be able to jump in and unlock all of them by loading it back up this week. So I have the ability to unlock Colossus, who I love. <laughs> oh, I just want this. Look at it. Have the ability to unlock Storm. <laughs> And then the final class, which we haven't talked about yet. No, my favourite. Interceptor. Mm. Your favourite, Sean. Yeah. Talk Rave blades. Yeah, rollerblades. Rave blades. Rave blades. <laughs> I thought rollerblades. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's part of it. Uh, rollerblades. But um, I, I, I find it's it's the most versatile, wow. personally, for myself. Like, because you can obviously take advantage of going in there and swooping the entire. Uh, enemy groups up with your amazing melee and especially the ultimate as well. The ultimate is incredibly effective because you go invincible and then you can just go around and just yeah. slaughtering them all. All those grabbits. Oh, all those grabbits. The horde. The horde of grabbits. Um, and you can uh, utilize on the dodging as well because it, um, with the ranger uh, you can dodge once so you sort of move about maybe like three or four meters. With the interceptor, you just hold down B or hold down your dodge button, and you can go miles. It, and it's amazing. And also the animations to go into flying and jumping. And I think I think interceptor is the only one with a triple jump as well. Am I correct in that? I don't know. Is it is a triple jump? But you have you definitely have free dodges. Oh, so we that's we more definitely have one free of the dodges, more, yeah. more interesting features of this ticket class. If yeah. you hold down your dodge yeah. button, you and you can keep chaining Sorry. them by switching the directions around. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it definitely made for some amazing gifts coming out of you lot, the Anthem mm. community, last weekend. Please always send them to yes. us because we love looking at it. There are some amazing, I suppose, cinematographers that are very versatile with the uh, Frostbite engine who know how to make it look cool. And my goodness, did you make some nice, sleek looking animations last mm. week. Um, yeah. Are you going to go as Interceptor? I'm going to go as Interceptor cool. for a while. I'm going to try and jump into a mission. Yeah, yeah. Uh, meanwhile, Kyle is 
Carl's gone now. Carl's gone. We have a look at this and just see what's happened with. Oh, so you can actually change the cape as well. Look at me. Yeah, you're yeah. looking cool. You're banging on about the interceptor. I've yeah. got care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what I what I actually really like is is that the cape's over one shoulder yeah. as well. I I quite like that. This one here. Look. Ooh. Look how many capes I've got. I, di I didn't get a chance to play as a Storm, so this is, I'm quite enjoying this. And that Stor Storm, for me, ticks a lot of boxes. Because again, Bioware fans, Legacy Bioware fans, if you're in the chat, you played any of the Mass Effect games. My go-to Mass Effect was Biotic. And I think mm. the Storm is kind of the spirit animal of that in, <laughs> in some ways. And the ultimate ability is flipping phenomenal. Mm. Look at me. Big giant fireball, <laughs> big giant ice ball, big giant lightning. Yeah. And I'm wearing nylon. All right. Went for nylon? Okay. Yep, went for nylon. <laughs> Durable. <laughs> Keeps the heat regulated. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, well, can you show me the right one in it? Uh, the, the Nova on the right? One more? There you go. Oh. I quite like that. I like this one here. It makes me look like a shark. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or skeleton, sorry. Skeleton crew. I quite like that one. It, yeah. feels, it feels quite Egyptian. Um, am I done? Mm, don't think <laughs> so. Chat, let us know Too what you think options. of Carl's Chaplin. Yeah, I really want to know how you yeah, think he's doing. Yeah, out of 10, doing. please. <laughs> out of 10. Scores out of 10 in the chat, that's what we want to hear yeah, from. Rated, rated between awesome and amazing. <laughs> <laughs> what is my uh, javelin's appearance? Look at oh, legs. If you also want to show off your javelin, um, you can use the hashtag the Anthem, uh, Anthem, Anthem Catwalk, Anthem catwalk. Good. Yeah. yeah, on Twitter. So please do uh, use the hashtag or at one of us um, on Twitter, and we'll be looking forward to seeing what you guys can do. Because yeah. I, I always love seeing people express themselves. So uh, in life and on in this game. <laughs> so that's what I'd emphasize. There. I don't want anyone screenshotting my masterpiece though. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to, to take credit. This is what yeah. I did. <laughs> Um, right, well, yes, if you are just joining us, good evening to you. We are playing the Anthem Open demo, which is available for you all to play this yeah, weekend. Yeah, it's free. Um, it's free. Check it out. Why not? Um, if you're interested to know what is actually in that demo, well, good news. We have a lovely video that we can take a look at here. Voiced over by the lovely Sean. So we'll leave you this, and when we come back, we'll play some more Anthem. So check this out. Hello everyone, I'm Sean and today we're going to deep dive into the world of Anthem. We were treated to our first proper glimpse into Anthem last weekend with the launch of the VIP demo which gave those who pre-ordered the game a ton of hands-on action. From the 1st until the 4th of February, the open demo will be available for everybody to get stuck into. So, we created a handy guide for those looking to become the next freelancer in the world of Anthem. Fair warning, muchos explosions incoming. It can be exciting heading into a new unexplored world. It may look stunningly beautiful, but there is this nagging feeling that everything wants you dead, so maybe save the sightseeing for now. Fortunately, the open demo will start you off from level 10 right out of the gate. This allows you to start your adventures with a handful of weapon options and some powerful abilities for your ranger javelin. Once you take on your first expedition, you'll feel the benefits straight away as one wrong thrust into a group of scar enemies won't instantly mean your demise. You have the tools you need to survive your first encounters with the hostile population as you seek that juicy loot. So we know you have a bit of power behind you to start with, but where do you start? Well, once you begin, you'll be in your home base of Fort Tarsus, a safe haven away from all the nasties outside. This is the hub that connects you to all your essentials, picking up contracts, visiting the forge, and starting your expeditions. Here, you can interact with characters and progress through story content and a lot more once the full game is released. It's beautifully designed and the switch to first person is a nice change of perspective as you walk through the market and take in the sights. You want to explore every nook and cranny you can whilst the demo is available, but remember, this is a freelancer's downtime, which might explain why they walk really, really slow. Well, they haven't got anywhere to go, do they? There are numerous activities, missions, and strongholds that will all test your skills while suited up in the world of Anthem, but there's nothing quite like the freedom of free play. 
It's the perfect introduction to get comfortable with your javelin, discover secrets, explore stunning landscapes and fight alongside fellow freelancers, all whilst completing open world challenges and activities, which bag you resources and materials to craft new tiers of javelin abilities and weapons. It's the perfect training ground to learn how to fly, hover and barrel roll. Yes, you heard that correct, barrel roll. So go and test out your favourite weapons, equip your strongest abilities and unload your entire magazine on hordes of incoming enemies. Oh, and one word of warning, be careful of mines. The forge is your main hub for everything regarding your javelins. It's where you can swap javelin suits, change loadouts and customise to your heart's content. Think of this as your new home, so you should probably sit back and get comfy. Just to confirm with you all, the customization element to this game is huge. It's basically a game within a game. And if you're like me, you'll probably spend about half a day creating the perfect look for your javelin. Every intricacy has been covered and almost everything on your javelin can be customized. Vinyl, paints, wear states, and armors all affect the physical appearance of your javelin, which are cosmetic only, meaning it doesn't affect any of your attributes or stats. So feel free to create the perfect suit without any limitations or restrictions to your loadout. There's going to be loads more customization options to unlock and play within the full game, but we've slid a few extras into the demo here for you to play around with. Better still, we've made them super cheap just for the demo, so spend your coins and show us your best look. It's a great way to put a unique stamp on your freelancers, so what are you waiting for? Go and indulge in a plethora of cosmetics and walk the catwalk of Fort Tarsus. Now's probably a good time to mention that we want to see your best javelin designs. Tweet at Anthem Game along with the hashtag Anthem Catwalk with a picture of your newly kitted out javelin for a chance to win a copy of the game. When you first start the demo, you suit up in the Ranger Javelin. After you've managed to become an expert pilot and mastered the skills of your versatile soldier, you get the chance to unlock an additional Javelin at level 12. Now this seems like a simple task, but every Javelin has a multitude of unique abilities, attributes and strengths that cater to a different playstyle. Now there's so many questions you might be thinking, and rightly so. Do you choose the speed and dexterity of the Interceptor, the battering ram tank Colossus, or does the most electric Electrifying storm in games entertainment float your boat. Well, that's a decision only you can make. So, who are you gonna pick? Teamwork makes the dream work. That's a saying, isn't it? Or in this case, just makes explosions bigger. Teamwork can be crucial to Anthem. Your javelins are strong, sturdy, and manufactured to take down the toughest of enemies. But imagine if there were four of you, all at once, killing enemies with ultimate abilities. Exactly. Combos are a huge part of Anthem, and by combining with your fellow freelancers and tactically planning your attacks, you can reap the benefits and make quick work of enemies. And it really is quite satisfying watching you and your teammates dispatch enemies in spectacular fashion and then seamlessly boost off into the distance, traversing to your next mission. Whether you're a lone ranger or a team player, there's always need for that extra helping hand, especially when you've malfunctioned and need a handy repair. The main mode of transport in Anthem is flying, and does it feel good? Oh yes, yes it does. There's no wait time or initiation process to start. It's as simple as running off Fort Tarsis, thrusting those jets, and seamlessly controlling your javelin. I promise you right from the start, you'll get a real taste of how simple and satisfying the mobility and mechanics are. And because I'm feeling generous, here's a pro tip. Make sure you fly close to the water to cool down your engines so you don't overheat. You'll be able to fly longer without having to recharge. You're welcome. But if you start to get vertigo and decide to return to terra firma, make sure you do it in style. Or just glide in with your assault rifle, blasting through enemies as if you've been summoned to save the day like a true superhero. Next chance to play is February 1st and runs for three days across the weekend. What you do here won't carry over to the main game, but you'll bag yourself an exclusive vinyl just for playing. For EA and Origin Access subscribers, you'll also have the opportunity to officially start playing Anthem on February 15th, one week before public release. If you want the exclusive access along with a whole vault of over 50 EA games and an additional 10% digital discount on all EA titles, you should check out EA Access if you're on Xbox and like Likewise, Origin for PC users. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with all the latest Anthem content and more. We'll see you next time, freelancers. There you go.
Yeah, that's what you can look forward to if you play mm. the Anthem Open Demo this weekend. Welcome back, folks. We're live on twitch.tv slash Anthem Game, as well as over on our EA UK YouTube and across the internet. Um, come and join us in the Twitch chat. Say hello. We'd love to hear from you. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining us. I'm Freeman, Community Manager here in the UK. Uh, joining me on the stream, we have Sean. Hello. Uh, we have Mr. Anthem Universe, or one half of Anthem one Universe. One half, that's <laughs> right. Let's be fair to your dearest colleague. Yeah, no, he's a yeah, brother from another mother. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's myself here in the UK, and then there's Gaz, who's out in Australia. That, isn't that just kind of like to cheat the game and make sure you're always talking 24 7? <laughs> that is literally the game, yeah. So, when I'm asleep, he's awake, and when he's asleep, I'm awake. So, okay. yeah, we literally have 24 hour coverage. There you go. So, make sure you're following Anthem Universe over on Twitter yes. because, you know. We've got lots of news on Anthem Game, but Anthem Universe is always going to be right behind us. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and of course, we've got Carl here as well. Thanks, Carl. Hello. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> You've been painting your javelin. You've I made am. it look very pretty. Yep. Like a uh, tinfoil cape. Mm. Got a bit of vinyls on. <laughs> I'm waiting for me, for me coinage so I can get some new, new colouring. You know what I mean? I look better than you. I think everyone would agree in the chat. We'll, 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 yeah. we'll see about that. We will see about that. Right. So we've got the three of us in a party and we're going to go and try and launch a mission. Right. Actually, no, I need to invite Sean. So let's do that now. Um, but yeah, good evening to you all. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. It's always lovely to have you in here. Um, to recap on news, of course, that some of you will be aware of, if you like playing the Anthem demo on Xbox, be aware that Xbox support has been experiencing some issues over the last hour since we went live for the demo. Mm. Uh, we're told that they are recovering, but of course, make sure you are following at Anthem Game over on Twitter and that EA help to keep uh, up to date with all the latest news. But naturally, we learned a lot from the experiences we had last weekend, made sure that we're ready to uh, get in on things a lot easier. And uh, yeah, I think we'll uh, go ahead and jump in on this in just a second. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, we'll get Carl to ready up. And then we'll, we'll jump in on this for now. I, and then I, I didn't seem to get your invite. We, we'll, we'll, get, uh, we'll get Sean to jump in in a second. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take a crack at the Tyrant Mine, though. So the Tyrant Mine is a piece of content you'll get to enjoy in the open demo if you complete the main quest line. Am I right in saying that, George? Or could you actually jump into it without completing the quest that's available? Uh, you can jump straight into it. You don't have to do that. The option's there, but I wouldn't recommend it. Because <laughs> <laughs> it, it can be a bit tough. It can be. Uh, yeah. So I we'll make like it, it a bit easier on ourselves. No, I want it. Hard. Yeah, I, I want yeah. the pain. Yeah. Oh, definitely going hard. <laughs> But uh, yeah, if you're going, if you're, if you're loading straight in, yeah. oh, chat, this isn't going to go well, definitely. is it? We'll give it a try. We'll what, give it a try. What were them other options? Mr. Freeman, could you? Send we can have normal, yeah. and we can have hard. Oh, Grandmaster. <laughs> <laughs> so Grandmaster will unlock at pilot level thirty, um, and George, you got to actually play around with Anthem and a special event we did here in London a couple of weeks. Did you actually try it on any of these much, much harder difficulties? Uh, we did. Uh, I actually have a wonderful uh, video that lasts approximately about four and a half minutes of us. We, and we, we were geared out, actually. We were like level 30 and probably about 500 gear score. And we did Grandmaster level one, because that was what was available to us. And we lasted a total of two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> so we wow. so, so you, you come in, it wasn't the tyrant miner. Um, it was uh, it was the other bit, and we did it. Yeah, it was it was brutal. Good effort though. <laughs> yeah. Two minutes in a four minute video. That's yeah, like yeah, yeah. That's yeah. The, yeah, yeah, the, that's the, the, the other two minutes just bumpers. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, it, it, there is no, once you get to grandmaster, yeah, there is a serious there is a serious jump between the two, and uh, that's a difference. And I think that's what. For us, uh, well, definitely for myself and Gaz, it was, um, it's the build diversity that you're going to have to play around yeah. with mm. to be able to achieve that. Um, so it's something that you notice while you're playing a demo, is you, you, like Colossus, for example, doesn't feel, well, it doesn't to me anyway, as tanky as what it does when you get to later on into the game. Yeah. And you really start playing around with the different inscriptions and modifications. Mm. Um, and I think that's really when, when people get past that and when the game comes out, that's really what's going to make the game fly. Mm. No pun intended. No pun intended. Never any pun intended. Right. Me and Carlo, we'll, we'll, we'll take a crack <coughs> at the stronghold. Meanwhile, we'll see about getting Sean to show us some Interceptor gameplay because, again, we were talking about the Interceptor early on. We didn't actually get to show it. Um, but let's, let's see if we can take a look at that. So we talked about it earlier. Um, definitely one of the more nimble and agile classes. Definitely, yeah. The most nimble, I'd yeah. say. Yeah, happily. 
I mean, the, the dodging, dodge, I'm not going to do it, um, <laughs> quite dodgeball. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> uh, genuinely fantastic. It feels really good. It has a really nice flow to it, which I find is one of the most important things in games in general, when something feels nice. When you get it right, I mean, I still do a lot of flying into walls, but luckily the game doesn't punish you for doing that. Um, well, past, you know, making you drop to the floor, but it doesn't give you any damage, which is nice, because otherwise I'd die from that. Um, but uh, it feels good, and hold on, can I? Yes, there is a triple jump. Okay, so okay. you've helped correct yeah. us from earlier on. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and the, f the flying is good and looks good as well, and um, let's see the that's my hero fall. Um, where's the grab bits? Um, no, no more <laughs> grabbing killing. I don't want any more grabbing killing on the stream. It's all said and done, but do you have a care? I don't have a cape. Oh, yeah. No, I don't have a cape. Yeah. I'm, I'm starting to feel as if <laughs> I might stop playing the storm just for the cape. But um, oh, hello. Uh, that's not. Is it covered? Yeah. I'm not. Should have raid blade them. Oh, that's a good shout. Hold on. Uh, chat. We don't want. We don't want this more grabbing. So make sure you uh, make sure you tell us all off in the chat. That's <laughs> perfectly acceptable by me. I want the heads of a hundred grabbits. <laughs> <laughs> On Twitter, no. But it feels good. And also, this is this is the dodging that you get when you are during combat. So pretend as if I'm fighting. Okay. Um, so let's bam, take a look at it in combat then, because I've got the right now inside Stronghold. Kind of like the dungeon-based content that you're going to see in Anthem game. I'm also playing as the uh, the insect, and I've got myself absolutely slaughtered behind a rock here. Oh my goodness! Yeah, they're all coming after me. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely there's a difficulty ramp here, isn't there, George? Oh, yeah, there, there, there is a difficulty ramp, and it's, there's a lot more coordination that's needed. Um, and <gasps> this, this is really... Strongholds are probably where the, the, the ability to be able to work with your team and apply combinations of attacks um, is really where it, it just completely takes off. Um, a stronghold is very hard to complete. I think, well, I think in previous round when we were at an event, we did it as a we did it as a two person. Yeah, but we still didn't complete it. We got about halfway through. Um, yes, you couldn't do it as a team. As a, I would like to see a team of interceptors actually see if they get all the way through a stronghold. That would be a good challenge. Because that's a, I mean, it's a really interesting concept actually that you could actually just smash in all of your javelin suits all into one. Like Kyle right now. Are you Ky dead? Ky I'm dead, Kyle. <laughs> if you want to, you know, want to help me out, <laughs> or someone else is helping me out. But yeah, Kyle. So we've got a pretty even mix in the actual group here because I think I can see Carl's playing a storm, I'm interceptor, we've got a ranger here, and then a second storm. So no Colossus boy for us no. <laughs> in this dungeon. But again, it's interesting to think that you can mix and match around with those. I'm all about having a four-man Colossus party. Oh. I really am. Just equip oh the shields God. and let's just leg it and let's just go in for it. Where's me? Where's me help at like? Oh, right. I'll, I'll help you out. Thank right. You. Um, so, did you get to try this last weekend, Sean, the actual...? Yeah. You did. So talk us through then, what are we actually trying to achieve right now in terms oh, of objectives to go past oh, I didn't, this I didn't do this one. You didn't do this no, one? No, I did, I did the missions and the free play. Okay. I didn't get to do uh, Stronghold, unfortunately. Okay. So right now then, what we're actually trying to do is capture up all the echoes, because I know it's very easy to get sucked into the bullet fights, um, but there are echoes, and of course at the top of the screen you'll see that there is a little kind of a Wi-Fi signal, I suppose, as people <laughs> are going to call it, um, that gets a bit stronger as you get closer to the Echoes. And you're trying to get as many as you can. You can carry three at once, and once you've got them, you've got to try and take them back. Um, but that's how you're going to stop this fight. Otherwise, you're just going to keep smashing into enemies over and over again, which, uh, to be fair, again, to a lot of players who are playing for the first time, they don't necessarily know that's what you're doing, but you can get just caught in the same loop over and over again. Uh, it is a perpetual loop too if you don't take those echoes. Yeah. Yeah. And they, these echoes are specifically around the anthem of creation, aren't they? So they're actually the tools that are left behind, not that you need to collect to put back. And what I found actually, when you're in free roam, yeah. some of these actually come up as public events. They do indeed. And yeah. they are open secret doors, which actually sort of blew my mind a little bit. I didn't see that. And then you actually go to oh. another public event, which I quite like. That's on my free play. Right, I'm, I'm doing more to help now, Kyle. <laughs> I've got three of the Echoes. I'm trying to remember where the next three are. I think there's definitely one around here somewhere. Energy levels are dropping. Uh, be above you. I have 
<laughs> it's amazing. I must have smashed this about five times last weekend. <laughs> and it got to the point where I just got into the habit and pattern of just flying around looking for it. And now I'm going, I don't know where I left them. It's like looking for your car keys. Well, they've, they've made a nice little thing on that radar where there is a triangle if it's above you. Indeed. Uh, which didn't used to be there. So that's actually a really nice addition. <laughs> you can at least start helping out on this bike here. I'm just looking at the scenery, if I'm honest. <laughs> You're just on the tourist uh, Have you done your suit rotation. My suit rotation. Right? Have you used the suit rotation? Uh, nope. Oh, it's a hover. Jump up in the air. And then press up. I need on an enemy first. It's not bad. Jump up in the air. I can't find the last. There you go. Oh, <laughs> well, he's dead. Just keep doing it. Yeah, dead, Over there. Right. So let's take a look then at some Storm oh, gameplay, because we like the Storm. I think the Storm's the, the javelin of the people, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's the people's javelin. Everyone seems to love being a Storm. Um, and is it, is it uh, just a bit of selfishness, do you reckon, just because it does so much incredible burst damage? I think the, vis the visuals are probably what makes yeah. it as well. Um, it feels so fun as well to play. But it, I've yeah, seen quite, there's quite a lot of builds going out at the moment um, okay. where it's a self comboing which is probably what makes the storm so powerful. Or well, the biggest glass cannon that you can you can try and make. Yeah. I mean, look at the care. I'm in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've managed to do the first section then, and we're working our way on towards the next section. And this is this is where it can get a bit intense because we're looking at snipers, we're looking at turrets. So this is actually the so the segment you're going on to now is probably the worst segment out of the whole stronghold <laughs> because those scar scouts are brutal. Uh, those the scar scouts actually, even the colossus, they absolutely shred. Oh. Nice flying car, I'm loving it. I'm absolutely sure you like <laughs> superhero. Right, let's get in here. Let's see what we can do with this then. Right, so same kind of deal. There are going to be more echoes that we need to find. There's 12 this time, though the final, is it final four or final six? Won't actually appear until you smash through them all. The uh, until you smash through a lot of the enemies. Oh, God dear. I've, I've absolutely, I've just gone rogue, haven't I? I've done exactly that thing that you will tell your friends off for, for just running away from everyone and being the guy that dies in the middle of nowhere. I can't help but that's, it. I mean, minus the dying in the middle of nowhere, I think it's the interceptor gameplay, so what? <laughs> the, these are the rogues from World of Warcraft, just yeah. that selfish person <laughs> who just wants to be the guy doing everything. I think the word hero is better. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. I, I, I'm not far behind you, I think. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go cower behind the waterfall. This was my safe place last week. Yeah, it's not. There's a, there's a turret shooting you. Oh no, that's not you. Someone else is saving me. <laughs> and they're dead, right? Okay. Oh dear. Okay. No pressure, Freeman. Everyone's dead. I'm respawning three. Don't worry. <laughs> you know them two turrets that you just flew past. Yeah. 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 They killed us. Uh, well, I think I might be safe behind this rock. Well, that's what we thought. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you both up. Oh, you cancelled it. Oh, you, you got him up before me, did you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a ranking system. <laughs> Look, I'm being, I'm being I, polite to our guests. I'm <laughs> the most useful one. I can freeze the turret. What's he doing? He's hiding in the water, don't you? That rage, mate. The controller is down. The controller is down. I'm in public. Who <laughs> saw? We're safe. I don't know where safe to revive you here, Kyle. I want there you, there you go, you're right, you're up. Let's yeah. let's retreat. Let's let's I'm regroup off. and have no, a I'm off, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> let's have a wee think about this, right. But I think this, this is probably actually showing not just your gameplay, but actually probably more towards the, the requirement to have diversity within your javelin. Yeah. Mm. I'm and I, I found that definitely this is where it benefited from playing as the Ranger, because having the ability <laughs> To get in and shield, <laughs> it's invaluable. Right, Warrior Cat is down again. I think Warrior Cat, you might... It, yeah, I think Warrior Cat, you're stuck. So let's try and get Kyle up here. I think we need to deal with the turrets, if I'm honest. I think, Kyle, you're in the open as well. What am I going to do? 
Oh, m missed them out. This is going to be a wipe, I think. <laughs> Seriously, I cannot be repaired. And, and to think, we didn't do this on hard in the end. We actually just went for. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought this was No, hard. we stuck on normal. Yeah. Don't believe you. I don't know what to say. Oh, you're on hard and you're all level 10, though, right? No, no so I think we're on normal. It. We're mostly oh. level 10. Right. I'm just going to do it. Um, no, okay. I've sacrificed it for the group there. <laughs> Critical failure. What can I say, chat? Um, yeah, indeed, the servers are live. If you want to hop in and play the open demo, you absolutely can. We're live on PC, we're live on PlayStation, we're live on Xbox. If you have found that you've been experiencing some issues while you've been logging into the game on Xbox, we apologise for that. Our friends at Xbox will reassure us that those services are recovering now, so hopefully you guys will be able to jump in. Uh, thankfully, we're not seeing a lot of the same issues that we did have last weekend when we went live for the VIP demo, mm. um, and it is proving to be a bit easier for folks to play. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you are just joining us, good evening to you, welcome. We're going to be live for about another half an hour or so. We're live on twitch.tv slash Anthem Game, playing our way through some of the demo content. Um, right now, we are working our way through the Stronghold. I'm back up. Let's see if we can get Kyle back up. <laughs> You're just so in the open, Kyle. I'm just. No, I'm not. I'm in the bush. Jesus, <laughs> in the bush. I'm actually yeah. camouflaged as well. <laughs> Okay, you're good, right. Oh, I'm alive again. There we go. Power restored. Oh, and yeah, there we go. I'm going down, 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 down. There we go. Oh, these turrets. So you've got your, you've got your ultimate now, so I fly towards one of those turrets and then take the turret out. You I reckon? always have so much trouble I mean, with the turret. I mean, team fly to, fly to that turret there. And you can He's nearly dead anyway. Or you can your abilities. There we go, right, yeah. turret's dead. We, so we've dealt with that problem. If we both go on the same one, I can freeze one of the turrets, and then he can't do anything. Okay, so now we're getting into the range of things like combos, which, again, super valuable once you actually learn what's actually going to set a combo up, what's going to prime it, what's going to detonate it. Uh, because that's where you can do an amazing amount of damage, if I can avoid dying here. <laughs> Favourite combo so far that you've discovered, George? Uh, Favourite combo so far, so uh, so I play a lot with a, a great friend of mine, um, PTT uh, and, uh, and another guy, Athens. So in he will, he plays Storm, I play Colossus. Um, so he will he will freeze pretty much everything and I will go. In. If there's a Colossus, then it's most folks are ground and pound. Uh, and you go in and just take ads out a lot. Um, he's had a quite a good... I've not I've not played Storm in this, but he's uh, he plays a lot for the Storm, and he's able to combo quite a lot actually. Um, the Storm is I think one of the unique ones where you can actually self combo, um, whereas like for a Colossus, for example, self self combo is actually not so easy to achieve because you have a lightning coil, but it doesn't offer the ability to freeze all the time, so you don't have that primer. Uh, and primer is just a chance anyway, but you're more likely with a Storm to actually hit that primer. Now. More commonly than any others, uh, the range is a pretty good one to the frost and fire grenade. Yep. Um, so which is where the ranger and the storm really do take off as a pair, um, as well for your ranged attacks. But we need Mr. Man here to come and stand on the portal because he's got the last one to activate the next wave of the fight. There we go. He's done. Right. Next wave. This is where I find it always gets a bit messy. Uh -oh. <laughs> We stay together. Okay. Well, well me and you'll partner up at least. <laughs> and we'll see how we get on. Right. Oh, this is where it gets hot and sweaty, everyone. You're doing great. We're I doing believe good. in you. Well, I appreciate the words of encouragement. Yeah. yeah, so the trick here is wipe out the enemies as quickly as you can. That's going to force the remaining echoes to appear in the cages. And then we've got to extract the echoes from the cages and try and wrap things up. You have to clear all your ads out first. Then. Do indeed. God, these stunners. <coughs> Great satisfaction in killing them because they absolutely destroy me nine times out of ten. Those Scar <laughs> Scouts are, they are brutal. They, uh, even a Colossus, they will no, no, no. <laughs> there we go, job done. Right. Shall I go for my ultimate? Shall I clear out some of these? Yes. Let's do this the cool way. Here we go. Oh, I just 
feels so good. Yeah. <laughs> Especially Ooh. when you're in a group of enemies and you Hell just of a light down show. all of them. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Ooh, I'm, the I'm guessing yeah, the big boy's here as well. No, okay, right, I've run out of my ultimate. Let's let's back up. Um, I'm also right in thinking that whilst you're using that ultimate ability, which is obviously very up close and personal, you are invincible and can't be yeah. downed. I didn't yeah. find that when I used it last weekend, I actually got downed in that state. Ooh, but I'm definitely going down now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what you've got to look for is, the, is, 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 is you've got to look for the gatekeeper, which is the heavy with a shield. Have we taken him out yet? We've definitely done some damage to him, but he's still he's still pottering about, I think. Where's he at? It, usually he's pottering around in the middle. No, here he is. He's, 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 he's snuck his way over that way. Yeah, you can take that guy out. Oh, 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 yeah. Just take out this big boy, Kyle, and we'll be able to move on to the next phase. Oh. Oh. Oh, was that him that dropped? No, he's... Right. Weak points on the back, then. I'm I'll distract him. I'm recovering. <laughs> See, that's another, th that's another thing where the Colossus really does actually make a huge difference, it's especially with its walk high ability, which is an ability I actually really like. Oh, they're all on. Uh, it is walk high, isn't it? Yeah, the walk high, so yeah. the ability to actually taunt and cause uh, the enemy to focus in on them. That's right, so you literally just, everybody just focuses on you. And with those guys who've got the shields, uh, you can actually be a, bit of, a little bit of a pain. I think oh, I, I, think I just killed them for you. You did? In case you were wondering. It's not a job. Let's get these echoes and let's get this done. Right, I've got two. I think you're on your way to get the other two, so I'll drop these off. I've got one. In the meantime, I'll try and get these snipers distracted. They're still doing a number on us. You're in a group of four, aren't you? We are, yeah. yeah. Uh, we, we're very oh grateful to our random teammates who <laughs> jumped in here. Right, I think that's all enemies dead, so we just need to make the drop-offs. And we're good, so I think one of our friends has the final... I have one. You have one. So right, so you, you bring this over here, Carl, and we're all done on this phase. Wait. Jump down. Whee! <laughs> Saved by the man in the cave. <laughs> now, now, now the most important part. Treasure! Loot. What was that? Oh! I'll let you do the honours, Kyle, as you dropped off the last bit. Go on. All I need is 25 coins. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <coughs> We've completed the, the first, I suppose, boss fight there, if we want to refer to it as that. And then this is where the game does something a bit different to perhaps other loot shooters you might have played. This is where you are told, of course, that you've got yourself a rare item in this case. I've got a couple of common items as well, but I'm not going to see what they are until I get to the end. And that's the same with any, any, with any type of free play or any mission that you do. Yeah. So it's definitely giving us the motivation to actually wrap this up. Because if I just leave the activity at this point, I walk away with nothing. Uh, yeah, I think so. Even though you've collected from Jeff? Possibly. <laughs> no. We'll find out later. I think that was definitely the case we found with XP. Uh, oh, uh, you don't week. get the XP. Right, so that's where yeah, I can You definitely get the there. loot, yeah. Because uh, yeah, we were planning farming runs already. <laughs> 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 You're already looking at that <laughs> min max strategy. <laughs> of, well, this fight only takes five minutes, and if we could just smash that in, yeah. we'll get on the old grind. <laughs> Uh, yeah, especially if you're going to be pushing out Grandmaster. Like, oh, it's quite nice, yeah. Grandmaster, Stronghold's going to take a good couple of hours. Right, so we're in the cave. Lots more spiders now. These things are creepy now. <laughs> they genuinely do start on me when I turn around and you've got one of these big, nasty workers staring you in the face. It does make you feel a little uncomfortable. You're just flying past them. Ah, well, you know. Mm. I'm being, uh, again, I'm being that guy. I'm being that guy. Do what you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, and I've hit a, 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 a classic Freeman, smash into the wall, down in here. Um, right, so show of hands then, who here has got lost in here? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you're looking for the way out, and... I'm following you, so... No, you oh, don't follow me. Already. Don't follow me, I'm, I'm already gone the wrong way. Is this it? 
Uh, no. No. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Right, so you kind of. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Has everyone oh. already found it? Have we done? Yeah, you've done the right way. Ah. Well, it doesn't feel too bad. Of course, we are waiting on our last party member who is. Uh, He's on his way. <laughs> He's, <laughs> He's on his way. <laughs> so let's, um, you know, uh, Mr. Mass. have ourselves a little bit of an emote party. <laughs> Can we kick him? Can we kick him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kick him, I'll do it. No, can't be. <laughs> um, so yeah, we, this is again the next phase in this particular part. You've got to get through the tunnels, which means everyone needs to be here at this final door. What, there is just some light show going on here. Who's causing this? Is this Warrior Cat? Right, okay, it is. <laughs> Whoa. Should we, should we try and be a beacon for him at least and just, just hide out in the water? Oh, he's done it. He's actually he's made the final bit. Yeah, here he comes. Oh, I have to shoot. I want that. Oh. Right, job done. Next phase. Right, so in this next phase then, we need to pick up gear and we need to turn off the big balls of electricity, which I'm guessing actually bear a lot of significance that I'm yet to learn as to what those balls of electricity are. Yeah, this, 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 this piece is definitely collect the thing, take the thing, and turn the thing. Right, there's the thing, I can see the thing. If I can just get out of this spider web, I'll be solid. Uh, 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 yeah, okay, maybe small teething problems on the demo here. There we go, right and free. Lovely. Oh. Right, so Carl, remember, when you pick up one of these things, no more flying. Well, I'm just following you. You're following <laughs> me? Okay, well, you've, have you got the <laughs> other one? There's another one S in this room. Oh. No, okay, you've just right, okay. So you're telling me if I leave this now, I still get all my loot, just not the XP? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is all you care about, really. Are you just going to bail? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I'm not giving up on this, Carl. I've got new friends here. Ooh. I'm all right. What's this guy doing? Right, so these are these nasty balls of electricity. You need to drop these off here. Just in case people were wondering what I was doing, which I'm sure the, the entire chat was like, what, what's Sean up to? What's <laughs> he been up to? He's been quiet for at least three minutes. Shopping. Uh, yeah, I'm shopping. I've, I've been spending some of my coins and kitting out my interceptor. And admittedly, I was quite unsure about the helmet that they were, would give you that you could buy for uh, 25 coins. I was unsure about it in, in the original colour, but I think I, I think he looks a bit like a, um, a Power Rangers villain. <laughs> I really like. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely a very interesting visual choice yeah. you've gone for, though. I'm gonna go for it. Um, yeah, this weekend, do check out that you will have access to kind of a trial version of the mm. store and you'll have the ability to play around with some new and shiny epic cosmetics. Um, they are at a significantly reduced cost. Yeah. Again, the final cost still being worked on uh, and we'll have them out in the final version of the game when we launch in a couple of weeks' time. Um, but yeah, you will all be given 100 coins and the ability to play around with that stuff. So save your coins, check out what you think you're going to like most for your visual look and uh, drop them in. Right, there we go. Right, I've done... What do you think? We've done three. <laughs> what do I think? Well, the what I've done. I think you've made your interceptor look fat. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Which is meant to be the skinny yeah. javelin. And yeah. I think you made it look fat. I, I think I think individual is, is the word I was going for. But <laughs> 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 I think maybe some brighter colours, I don't know. Yeah, I think... I think the, the biggest, the biggest, the biggest thing that I've seen that make, actually has made me quite happy is the launch day, because mm. people are spending so much time, and people will do, and I've sat and watched a stream for two and a half hours of someone just playing around with the cosmetic. Yeah. And it's, I always wondered, well, how am I ever going to show them off other than with four people that I'm constantly always playing around with? Yeah. So I think that's where the launch bay really does uh, add that extra value mm. and so for folks who are just then learning about that there is this launch bay feature coming to game george what is launch bay launch bay is uh your social what? space so it's the space it's the space in between the, the world and tarsis so tarsis obviously is your single player experience you know your, your story um 
and then the open world is where you share your experiences and do your contracts, legendary contracts, mission story art, art missions and stuff like that. But then there, was, there wasn't really anywhere in between that to be able to spend time with people, whether in your team, whether they're in your team or not. Uh, and that's re really what the Launch Bay does. Um, and what's also good is Launch Bay offers you the ability to shop for vanity items, gives you the ability to jump into the forge, um, so you can customise and everything else and still remain in your four-man party. Um, or, I mean, it's up 16 different javelins, is that right? You can fit in the launch bay? Yeah, I believe that's about the total. So yeah. you can basically see three other teams, um, or three single individuals, and have emo dance bar parties, basically. <laughs> Which is inevitably what these things always degenerate into. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Right, so we've got to the second wave then of this next part of boss fight, and I'm doing exactly what you don't want to be that person does this weekend. Uh, during this phase, the objective isn't to destroy enemies like I'm doing, it's to stand up here. <laughs> um, once you're standing up here, it's going to boost the signal, which is mm. going to help complete this. So everyone ideally needs to stand up in this circle, and if someone leaves the circle, which I'll do here, you'll see that the bar up in the top right does change colour, it does stop going up as fast if less people are in. So. Be, be, a good, be a good freelancer this weekend. Stay in the circle. <laughs> it's too tempting, though, to go out there onto this bridge and actually start messing around with the enemy. Yeah. Especially when you are playing with a class like the Interceptor, which has this crazy mad ultimate ability with a lot of melee happening in it. Yeah, this is where you... This, this is where probably... So what we usually do is we'll just have a colossus standing on the bridge uh, with a light machine gun or a grenade launcher and just constantly firing down. <laughs> Solid tactic. <coughs> or and then with the ranger throwing down an ice grenade. Um. Oh, Alright, my very I might have heated car. I wanna I wanna get in and help here, but I'm I'm not doing very well. <laughs> here we go, right. Mr. Bubbles. Yeah, I'm just going with bubbles, he hasn't earned the Mr. yet. Ah. Um I was just going with bubbles, but unfortunately it doesn't make sense. Oh, does it? It does. Bubbles. Okay, bubbles. All right, Bubbles. I think there's no one more threatening than a massive bloke called Bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound a bit comedy gangster, like doesn't it? All right, yeah. Bubbles. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you getting in the uh, ranger today? Yeah, I am, yeah, yeah. Does that mean I'm going to have to make it blue? <laughs> <laughs> um, Bulletproof69 asking in the Twitch chat here, is there something new in the open demo? Um, so you will be playing a lot of the same content that was available last week. However, from a blog post that went up live on the Bioware website last night, there was a small kind of cheap tease given by Chad to suggest that you definitely want to load up the uh, the demo on Sunday afternoon. Oh! I ain't going to say any more Ooh. about that. But Sunday afternoon, definitely have uh, have a think about checking out the Anthem demo before we take the servers offline because there will be something new that we want to share with everyone. And again, whether you're VIP, whether you pre order the game, you're an EAX or Origin X subscriber, everyone is going to be able to experience this content that we're going to pop into it. Um, otherwise, if you did play the VIP demo last weekend, a reminder that you'll have access to all four Javelin suits this weekend just by logging back in. So, um, whereas for everyone else um, who otherwise played the demo um, last weekend, the initial experience that folks got is that you will start at level 10. You will start with a range of javelin suit, but at level 12, you'll have the ability to pick your next javelin suit. So, um, if you have played last weekend, special treat for VIP demos, and as a thank you again for the issues that we did face last week, you'll have the ability this time to log in and pick the other javelin suit, so you'll have the opportunity to check out the other, the other suits. Very welcome addition. I know a lot of people were spamming through their multiple accounts that they had last week <laughs> just, to, just to play through them all, and I do feel sorry for my dear friend Necro, uh, who's a Twitch streamer, uh, bless him, he didn't make multiple accounts, did play it through all. At the exact point where he unlocked the fourth one, we posted that tweet and... Oh. Sorry Necro, <laughs> we love you. But thank you everyone who did play as much as they did last week. And um, it was naturally very invaluable for us to get as much data and feedback with you as we did. And hey, GG, well done Kyle, we did it. We did it. How, did how, it. how, many, ra how many rares did you just get? I got one. Uh, 20. <laughs> Being robbed here, folks. So that event on Sunday, is there, sp is there a specific time? Or is, that, is that based UK time Sunday afternoon or is it? I mean, I'd be speculating wildly to pick at a time. Okay. Um, but you know, the demo went live at 5 p.m. UK time today. Um, I'd say it's as good a time as any to, to, well, to, you know, okay. to set, a, 
set an alarm on your clock. But um, no, you'll definitely want to make sure you're following the Anthem Twitter channel because this weekend, of course, we'll be sharing more about our experience with it. So make sure you are going on to twitter.com slash Anthem Game to keep uh, up to date with all the goings on. But we do want to show you something cool this weekend. Um, so it's definitely going to be a great place to start. Right, final phase then. We're going off to fight the big spider boy. Oh, I thought we'd finished. <laughs> You'd be too desperate See for the loot, Kyle. Secret, be <laughs> right, I need, I need, come on, stop overheating. I need, I'm too impatient, this is my problem. I wait, if I wait for it to cool down, I'd have loads of time to fly around. But instead, I'm bouncing up and down. I'm not doing myself many favours. Oh, oh, oh. I like a game with good shoulder pads, and I've just found some really good shoulder pads. <laughs> shoulder pads? That's a bit yeah, 80s. It, it, <laughs> it increases the size of the... Um, bam! Bam! Cool. There we go. I, I wasn't sure whether you wanted to continue playing with the Interceptor, so I've just I've kicked out my range a little bit. Yeah. yeah, that's a nasty looking ranger that you yeah, got there. This is I don't, not a fan of the colour scheme, if I'm perfectly honest. I've, I've caused that myself <laughs> by naming it bubbles. <laughs> okay. Right, squad goals then. Oh, we already killed it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is this one technically smaller than the one we're about to face off against? It's certainly mean looking. Uh, right, let's get to it. Hey. Right, final fight then. Big spider boy. Great way to end up the stream today. Let's see what we can do on this one. Who's got who's playing storm? Oh, here you are. Oh! Ooh, yeah, here it comes. What weapon have we got? Nothing special. Right, come on, you big giant. Oh, what? I didn't is it a spider? Them. Like, let's chat. Oh, that is creepy looking. Help me decide this. Is th what is this? It's a giant tick. Have <laughs> 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 you ever found one of these on your dog? I don't know. Uh, it's the Swarm Tyrant, and it's, um, it, it probably, I'm guessing, this thing's mum or dad, and probably quite angry that we've been shooting Aww. a lot of these for the last 20 minutes. Now you just made it real. <laughs> <laughs> well, two million of you are killing rabbits, all right? So consider that your punishment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but grab it, it's a vermin. <laughs> not hearing this. I'm not hearing <laughs> this. Oh, I'm really happy with what I've done. Oh, In it. general, and on this game. It's okay. So, oh. Supposedly, I mean, then, this swarm tyrant is classified as a scorpion. And I, I, can, I suppose it'll make sense of that, because it does have a bit of a, a scorpion thing on its butt. I can't think of a polite way to describe no. that. Or a scientific way, I'll add, but let's just go with the shiny thing on its butt. Either way, I'm not going anywhere near the bloody thing. Oh, it's on top of me. Uh, Warple saying these enemies look so unique, so cool, you like it. Yeah, oh, again, cool. they're. Um, the team at Bioware do a great job in creating really creepy enemy types. <laughs> so I'm a, big, I'm a big fan of these things. How are you getting on over there, Kyle? I might melee it. I reckon that might work. <laughs> <laughs> Showing it a bit of northern love, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this pillar is a very good um, position. Ooh, ooh. Right, so we need to clear out these ads and then hopefully that's going to cause um, Mummy Spider or Mummy oh. Scorpion to come back. There we go, right on cue. See, now I think this is where Interceptor probably is going to contribute a lot less yeah. in terms of doing damage to the actual boss because not only am I a terrible pilot, but my ultimate isn't really going to be well suited to actually taking out the... I've uh, killed it. <coughs> but oh, no. Storm's got this nailed down, I think. The burst damage that you can throw in is definitely going to do the job. Uh, yeah, so if you've got a cross of a, a Storm here, if you both power your ultimates at the same time, you can be going straight up but really, I think the ultimate weapon is the sniper, the burst, burst round sniper. Mm -hmm. so like 14 damage. Ooh. Ooh. Spider sneaking up on me. What's going on here? Oh, uh oh. It's I shouldn't call me. them spiders. It's they're they're not spiders at all. It's hit me. I'll tell you what, you, you focus on the big bad, and I'll try and do my best to keep all these little glyphs out of the way. I'm trying.
Actually, he looks clean. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a good dude. Kind eyes. Oh, I have quite nice. Oh, no, no, no. I'm getting too close here. Get out of it. Oh. Definitely felt the intensity when I gave this a bash on hard um, at the weekend. Oh. Um, so many times when you end up in that scenario where three of your fellow freelancers go down, you're the only person up, and you're just trying to sneak the big bad away from them long enough so that you can actually pop the revive up. Um, I don't want to jinx it, but so far, so good. <laughs> Do some damage on the side, but come on, let's have this. Oh yeah, let's go. Here we go, no ammo. That's not good. Storm boot. Oh, Mr. Man's down. <coughs> um, will, will I try and save him, Carl? You distract the, the baddie. Oh no, I think he's just bugged it off. Right, we're good. Mr. Man, I've got you. I've got you. Eggs are falling on top of me. And so a question that was just popping up in the chat there to ask if you can get legendary or extremely high tier con uh, items. Um, I don't know if we've actually got them in the demo build because naturally you are playing at one of the lower levels rather than no, the water don't. level cap. But we did see some of these items um, in some of our various uh, pre-launch events that we did around the world. I did see a couple tweeted out from the Japan event uh, the other day which was pretty darn tasty. And definitely as there's going to be a bit of a gear chase up until sure people go on the hunt for some of these items. Oh my goodness, that was an excellent clear out. Right. I, I'm going to do this. I'm going to. Ah, the big spider's behind me. I'm all in it. I'm using my uh, big bad boys, I miss. <laughs> Didn't miss that time. There we go, combo. Yeah, I don't imagine I'm going to. No, 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 just in time. Oh, this is the this is the absolute worst place to be underneath the sodding thing. I mean that's a solid use of the ultimate oh, there. Oh. Good job, Warrior Cat. Right, now, let's get on the other side. I'm optimistic, Kyle. I'm optimistic. Halfway down. Just run away, come on. No, I'm having you. <laughs> Can't believe we've done this first time on hard. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. 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 No, yeah. Totally on hard. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Stop calling me mum. <laughs> so, George, then, even though you would have played the lap through both ton of this last weekend, are you actually looking forward to jumping back in? Oh, me? Yeah. No, oh, I can't wait. And, uh, yeah, I can't, yeah, I can't wait. Uh, it's been such a long road, um, all the way from like E3 2017 till now. Um, yeah, just to be able to actually get the full game back at home. Mm. Gonna be, yeah, oh. my, my wife's going to be... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we apologise to Miss Anthony in the we absolutely <laughs> do. <laughs> Have I done this? Have I? <laughs> which of the two I managed guns to find the one bit to get stuck on. <laughs> which, which of my two guns should I be using? The armor? Uh, any of them should be in a quick one. Hmm? As long as you get in the big yellow. Oh, ah, okay. Oh, no. I no. only get yellows. That's weird. <laughs> He's eyeballed me. I'll go down, I'm down. <coughs> Alright, I'm on my way. Sort us out. I got you. <laughs> don't worry. I cannot be repaired. Died on an egg there. I don't know if that was it. Right, here we go. <laughs> it was tactical. Running away has never felt so satisfying. Normally <laughs> it would be a total coward move, but just that action of flipping into flight mode and sodding off is... Uh, what are the other two doing in a team? Feels right. a bit epic. I mean, uh, they're definitely fighting off the little dudes. And I'm definitely seeing them using their ults and abilities. Mm, I don't know what that like. <laughs> Two man sure. <laughs> right. He's definitely going to take the warrior cat now. Is there a character that's best for taking on the enforcers? 
Or do you find it's just anyone who can just keep dodging uh, around? The trick's the weak points. Yeah. So if you can get to the weak points, you can get one. Yeah. So what I did there, where I just lost sight of it and then fell down a hill, that's yeah. not the best thing to do? Probably not. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, apparently don't stand on this rock. This rock does not like you. The game does not reward cowardice, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, they I mean, can be so many. Can how fly. can I not do my ultimate here? <laughs> I'm gonna punch them, me. Okay, well, I think that's, uh, that's that's done a nice, easy job of that. Ooh, and hello. He's back. <laughs> <laughs> it's back. Not shy about letting us know about it either. Come on. Oh, oh. help! Don't worry, Carl. We've got this. On top of me. Yeah, it's you, you okay, well, you're on your own for that one. I'm, I'm leaving you there. I'm sorry, but. <laughs> Let's see if I can taunt it over here. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Our other teammate is just walking past me. Look at him. Look! Right, I've, I've definitely got its attention. <laughs> yeah, this other guy's just ignoring. <laughs> uh oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna I'm getting repaired, it's good. Lovely, good. right, good. Warrior cut. I was, rescue. I was in trouble there. Right, right, yeah. I've done my distraction job. Can I go back to being the useless person at the sideline? <laughs> Quite like that role. It's nearly dead. Oh. I think if, if the developers didn't want the rabbits to die, they shouldn't have made it so satisfying. <laughs> the animations are great. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Not animated. Yes, grab it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right, now done. certain I've done 80% of this damage. He's, he's over. Hey, Did you miss the giant spider? One, Scorpion thing. <laughs> Need to hit a beetroot. Well done, Kyle. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, well done. Guys. By the looks of it, you're effectively a two man bash roll. Oh. I, I very mis listen, Mr. Man twenty four forty three and Warrior Cat 00 who had absolutely no idea they were live on Twitch.tv. <laughs> Thank you. That was absolutely, absolutely lovely of you. Right, let's take a look at our rewards for this because we've got a bit of loot to look at before oh. we finish up this evening. Um, it's the best bit. Fingers across. Yeah. I want shiny loot. I want uh, a new, new cape. Pain. <laughs> <laughs> for me chest. So that would that be your go-to if if you yep. could have it as a loot reward? You'd want cosmetic. Hundred yeah? oh, percent. Yeah. I'm not bothered about about the uh, the gear. How it looks. God, we look, look oh, fabulous on the end as well here. My goodness. Whoa. You may have just slightly missed that animation, but I think it will play a second time when we come back on that. But Mr. Man 24343 on the end. Ooh, that was fabulous. I actually enjoyed that. Mr. Man's got a bit of a square head, though, in my opinion. I, I mean, I don't want to rub it in, but I've, I've got more medals than everyone. What? I know how petty that is, but <laughs> it makes me feel good. It makes me feel good, so I'm all about it. Ooh. I mean, that is, a, again, uh, so I'm using the very generic or default look of the Interceptor for that particular one, but sh it's brilliant to actually see everyone's different styles here. Yeah. I think Lovely. I look the best, though. Yeah, I think the Storm's looking pretty yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> well, that cape. <laughs> Not the one on the right, though. <laughs> How about that? And loot. Shiny Ooh. loot. What did you get? Lots of shiny loot. New assault rifle? I want that. I'm salvaging it. I got a new sniper, uncommon. Talk to us about the salvaging, Sean. Why am I salvaging this stuff that I don't want? So you can craft new weapons, I believe. Mm. Yeah. Can I salvage everything? You can, yeah. if you really want to, but naturally there's probably going to be quite a nice few abilities there. For example, mm. I picked up a yeah. rare version of Rally Cry. Makes you and your allies free of all status effects or status effects. That's mm. going to make me able to, you know, be less of a solo <laughs> jerk and be more, <laughs> more of someone who's a bit more helpful. And the new CQ missile. Oh, nice! Yeah. But as well as that, new weapons, uh, some melee inscriptions. Again, the inscriptions great way to boost your javelins. 
before you actually launch into a mission. Mm -hmm. See? Oh, and so you got your heavy, new heavy pistol as well, which was the one you were using. But look at that, fabulous. Oh, it's, it's oh just wow, been, that it's, is a... It's been cut off by the camera that's on yeah. the right hand side, but the, the lovely pose that you would have <laughs> just seen. <laughs> <laughs> so power I'm, uh, pose. as a new player, how do I know what I'm going to salvage and what not? Shall I just keep it all? Keep it all until you decide what you want to start using yeah. and what you don't want to use. Until your inventory is actually full. Yeah, yeah. You'll always have the ability, but yeah, you can sell with um, As a rule of thumb, definitely keep rare. If you pick up a rare assault rifle, maybe you want to hang on to it. But bear in mind, there are different variants of things like assault rifles. You'll have some that fire very slow bursts, but do high damage, and some that fire insanely quickly, but do perhaps less damage. It'll work out as an average, but for sure. Uh, well, gentlemen, I think that is an excellent place to end the stream. Yes. We've had a very successful run now. Take yep. a look at all the javelins that are available. Cleared through uh, the dungeon. Mm. Clear through our stronghold. So we I, I think we did really well during yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was on hard difficulty. Yeah, yeah. We didn't. None of us died once. <laughs> this is done a few times, <laughs> but that's fine. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone who's been joining us. The anthem demo is open and available mm. to everyone. You can download it on console. You can play it on PC. Just go to the Anthem Game website, um, and it will give you instructions on, in including links as well that you can just click on that take you directly through to the download pages. And again, it's free, so you've got nothing to lose. Other than that, next opportunity to actually play the real full game will come with EA and Origin Access. Oh. Tell us about it, Sean. It'll be on the 15th of February. We get it one week before the actual public launch. Uh, so if you are a member, you get it for free. Not you don't get it for free. Um, get you get it for free. You get it part of your subscription yeah. as as part of EA Access. So go ahead and get that if you are very much willing to get the game as soon as possible. If you've been enjoying the streams and thinking, I can't wait to get this, or I can do much better, <laughs> which is understandable if you've been watching my one, um, <laughs> then go ahead get the game. But again, uh, the demo is free right now from today until Sunday. And again, apparently there's something major happening Sunday afternoon, so make sure to jump in during that period especially. But uh, yeah, the game is actually out on the 22nd of February if you don't have the EA uh, access, so... Yeah. EA yeah. access, by the way, is a quid. If you're in the UK, it's a quid. What? Yeah. Hmm. On Xbox. That's pretty good. Is it really? I didn't. Sorry, Origin Access. Forgive Origin me. Origin Access. Yeah. Origin yeah. Access is a quid. Yes. Yeah. Access is three quid yeah. or four. Three cheap nine nine. Still cheap as chips. Cheaper than yeah. Yeah. But yeah, Origin really Access cheap. is yeah. available on offer in many different territories. So if you're watching from Europe, if you're watching um, in the United States, you will find that it's it's lower in price. So go and check your storefronts for that. But if you're still on the fence after playing the demo and you want to try the full game, because naturally you're playing just a small slice of it this weekend with the open demo, mm. the full game again will be available when the Origin Access and EA Access early trials go. Again, it's time limited, unless of course you're an Origin Access Premier member, in which case mm. you're going to have that full access to it much earlier. Mm. Um, but it's a great ability to actually launch uh, and check it in. Um, do bear in mind that the progress you make during the demo weekend won't actually carry over to the full game. So if you do get yourself up to a certain level, do expect that when you get into the full game, you'll be starting fresh. Yeah. More importantly, though, you will get some really cool vinyls from actually playing. There's one vinyl that will be available to everyone if you jump in and play the demo this weekend. But if you play the VIP demo last week, as a thank you, we did add in an extra emblem on top of all of that. So yeah. there, there are some, sorry, vinyls. Um, so there are some cool vinyls for you guys to get your hands on as well. Um, yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Thank, thank you, you so for your much. interactions in the chat. Thank you for your questions. Mm. Uh, Chief Engineer, thank you very much. You got Legion of Dawn, you can't wait. They're, they're, they're some bloody lovely skins, actually, yeah. I will say. Absolutely love those customization options. Um, Two Pack is alive. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Oh, that's his name. I thought that was just a statement. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't a statement. Maybe he is. Maybe he's watching if you are too packed. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you everyone for watching. I'm Freeman. You can find me on Twitter at, at Part Welsh if you want to stay up to date with all the Anthem news, twitter.com slash Anthem Game. Yeah. We will be tweeting lots over the weekend. We want to hear from you. Remember, if you want to, tweet us using the hashtag, hashtag Anthem Catwalk and show us your javelin suits that you customised mm. this weekend. But Sean, thank you very much for joining us. Where will the people find you? You can find me... Um, at Sean Joseph Young on Twitter, um, where yeah, there'll be some Anthem stuff. I'll just be retweeting what Freeman puts. So, <laughs> you know, I, I uh, I'm useful. <laughs> and George, thank you very much for joining us. It's been an absolute yeah, pleasure thank to you have very you much. here. Oh, I appreciate we've, the invite. We've, we've well. been a massive fan of everything that you've been mm. doing with supporting the game. I know there's some great communities building up for Anthem, but thank you for joining us. Where will people right. find you? Uh, well, you can find us in a lot of places actually. But uh, main place will be our Twitter, which is uh, Anthem Universe. 
Uh, you can also join our Discord, which is discord.anthemuniverse.com. Uh, we've also got a website as well where we've actually got a full dev tracker, which people use, a lot of YouTubers use, just to be able to keep up with all the tweets from uh, Ben and I and um, Mark Dorara and obviously John Warner as well, because yeah. those guys are tweeting like no tomorrow. So they really we, are. We've got a decent place where it puts it all into one, uh, which is pretty useful. Um, we'll just come along, say hello. We stream uh, weekly. Um, yeah, just come and say hi. Right, thanks for having me. That's all right. And more importantly, you put up some cool content today again about the lo the lo the hangar as yes. well. So if people were curious about what we we're talking about with the hangar earlier, you want to check it out. Make sure you hop over to Anthem Universe's channel so you can. And have we've also got that. the other stronghold up today as well. So Excellent. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. up as well. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for joining us. And of course, Kyle. Yes. Yeah. Brother in arms. Yes. You the man with the me. amazing cape. <laughs> you can find me uh, in my kit every day at Kyle Rider <laughs> <laughs> ninety four on Twitter. Um, Will I get you a cape for the office? Yes. Mm. I mean, I already have one. But, uh, <laughs> wear it when no one's there. Yeah. <laughs> secret, secret cape wearing myself. Wear it with pride. Exactly. Wear it with pride. But, um, if you're interested in any of our sports titles as well, or <laughs> I'll be retweeting sort of Pat Welsh's anthem stuff. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, find me there. Lovely. Every day. Um, and again, everyone, <laughs> enjoy <laughs> playing Menacing. the Anthem Demo this weekend. <laughs> again, as Sean was saying, make sure you jump mm. in on Sunday because we've got something super cool to show you. Um, but enjoy it. Tell us what you think about yeah. it. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. We'll be back in a couple of weeks when the game launches on EA and Origin Access. That's the next time we'll see you. So you take care now, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Have a lovely night. Bye -bye.